So today what we're going to do is we're going to do the disassembly of a two inch advanced plastic pump. So first thing we're going to do is remove our discharge manifold. So when removing the manifold, the seats and balls are going to be housed inside the manifold. As you can see, one stayed, one left behind. It's always a good idea to keep the bolts with the manifold so you don't lose them for later. Take out the seat, inspect the valve hole, inspect the seat landing area. Make sure that you can't see any daylight through the bolt. If there's no daylight, you're good. There's also a manifold O-ring. That's going to come as part of the rebuild kit, so you'll want to remove that by using an O-ring pick. Keep those off to the side. That will be part of the kit. Then we simply turn the pump over, do the same thing to the inlet mount. Same thing, keep the bolts intact on the manifold. Place the manifold off to the side. You'll notice this is also going to have seals on here. You can simply remove those seals with an O-ring kit. And those are going to be replaced. Now we're left with just the liquid chambers. So what I like to do, you notice too, Single socket assembly. We don't have to keep changing back and forth from side to side. So once we get this liquid chamber off, it's going to expose the outer piston. We can remove the seats and the valve bolts. Then that will expose the outer piston chamber. Inside the chamber we'll have one additional seat or an additional seal. Get that off to the side. He's also part of the kit. So what we want to do is we want to remove that outer piston. So by doing that we simply use a socket. I like to leave the one liquid chamber on so that it holds that assembly in place. So once that's broken free you can simply remove that outer piston. All you have to do is break it free, and then we're ready to go. So now, we'll remove the second side. Again, remove the O-ring. Then we can take off the diaphragm cell. Piston, PTFB primary, thermoplastic backup, inner piston. And that's it. Now we have our whole diaphragm assembly removed. All that done using one socket and one breaker bar with the large socket for the outer piston edge. Then this leads us to the center section. So first we want to do is, for a complete disassembly, you want to remove the six bolts holding on the air valve muffler plate. So to do that, we'll change socket. we go to this one. We remove that. One thing you notice about the air valve gaskets, we don't use a spaghetti gasket or a string gasket. These are nice thick rubber isolator gaskets. They can be reused over and over again. They're thick, they're pliable, and they're reusable. So we take off the air valve gasket, we can take off the muffler plate, and then we have access also to the isolator gasket for the air valve end cap. Also again, thick isolator gasket, you can reuse that. So what you want to do then is you want to be able to inspect the air valve, uh, the air valve piston. So to do that, we'll just remove an end cap, just work it back and forth. There's just an O-ring that holds it in place. Okay. Use the air valve end cap. Use 
one of the bolts for the air valve, run it through the end cap, that'll give you access to remove the spool and inspect it. So there you can remove the spool, inspect each of the seals, make sure the integrity of the seals is good. Look inside the bore, you want to make sure that the bore is good, free from any defects, nicks, or gouges. If that's good, you can clean off the seals, re-lubricate the seals, and reinstall it. Put the end cap back in, and you're ready to go on to the next step. So the next step would be removing the air chamber. To do so, we need to remove these four bolts and one snap ring deep on the inside. So, with that, we'll change to a smaller socket. So with the proper set of snap ring pliers, we remove the snap ring, look at the integrity of it, make sure it's not bent, take off the snap ring, then we can remove the air chamber. So with the air chamber removed, we can look at the air chamber gasket, see if that's good and intact and needs to be replaced. If it's good, like we said, you can reuse these, they're made of hydro, good strong resilient material. These will come in the air rebuild kit. Once we get down to this phase, we just flip it over and simply do the same thing to the other side. Take off the snap ring, remove the four bolts. So in some cases, the sleeve will stay stuck to the bolt. You can simply leave the sleeve on there, change it out, or by using some adjustable pliers, you can grab the sleeve, hold on to that, and finish removing it. And once that's done, your air chamber is complete. You've got a full disassembly in just a few minutes using minimal tools.